सो गाइस हेलो सो गाइस गुड आफ्टरनून सो फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग टॉपिक आई पिक द सेकंड टॉपिक द इसरो इंडियन रिसर्च स्पेस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टुडेज एरा इज द एरा ऑफ साइंस एंड वी आर वेरी फॉर्चूनेट दैट वी आर लिविंग इन सच एरा बिकॉज द साइंस हैज प्रोवाइडेड अस न्यूमरस टूल टू लिव अ लग्जरियस एंड द कंफर्टेबल लाइफ and the india after the independence has achieved the glorious mark of success in the space technologies because in spite of being the developing country and facing the numerous challenges the india has achieved the glorious mark in the space technologies the establishment the development in the space technologies was led by the establishment of the isro in the 1969 the isro has been proved a boon to india in term of disaster management meteorological and the communication and various other spheres but guys the isro was also not the same in the initial days the isro suffered a lot of failures in the 90 in the 1979 the isro failed to make or to invent the satellite launch vehicle slv but it continued and work upon its mistake and in 1983 it made the slv3 but the real journey and the real beginning of missions was started in the 1988 when the 1988 and the 1989 were the years which were very disappointing and were full of failures for the isro because it failed because it failed to successful launch the aslv into the space but it worked upon its mistakes and it bounced back into the 1992 the nine in 1992 it launched the aslv3 which was successfully launched into the space and its successor aslv4 was launched in the 1994 since then isro has launched numerous successful rockets into the space the PSLV C1, PSLV C2, and the PSLV C5, GSLV D1, GSLV D2 are the certain rockets which were sent successfully into the space. And the October 22, 2008, the PSLV C11 was the rocket which took the Chandrayaan to the moon. And this uh, is ul- the ultimate mission of this Chandrayaan was to go find the water molecule on the moon, which was successfully accomplished. and apart from that uh, in the july on uh, 20 of july, 20 april 2012 the pc mm, yeah pslv c15 uh, rocket sa- uh, rocket sent the satellites which took the pictures of the agriculture forestry and environment of the earth and after a couple of months in july uh, pslv c16 launched the space communication satellite into the space and it was in the year of 2013 when the when the isro sent its 100th 100th mission into the space and the 100th mission was sent by the pslv c21 rocket and the isro printed the history uh, in uh, it printed the history by uh, by sending its 100 missions successfully into the space but uh, the main and uh, but the main mission and the biggest mission of the isro was in 2013 which made it uh, the worldwide famous and uh, one of the fourth biggest in space organization in the world the uh, 2013 mission was the mangalyaan mission when the ps pslv c25 took the mangalyaan into the ma- or to the mars and uh, isro became the first space organization which uh, successfully landed the rover on the surface of mars in the very first attempt so guys these were the certain missions which were done the uh, which were done by the isro since its establishment and now let me tell you the nasa and the isro are planning to uh, set uh, to set a earth observation satellite in the earth orbit in the upcoming years but the question arises from where all these satellites are launched uh, actually there is one place uh, sri harikota which is about 100 km from the chennai so all these satellites uh, which are launched by the isro from there only all the facilities to assemble the satellite and to launch the satellite into the space are all exist there and now let me tell you uh, the after the establishment of the isro it has a record of the international cooperation because the isro has launched i'm um, sorry the isro has uh, trained about 400 personnel of the foreign countries in the space technologies so isro is very cooperative and now coming upon the indian astronauts which have visited the india which have visited the space the first indian man who visited the moon was the uh, who visited the space was the squadron leader rakesh sharma and after that the first two men was the kalpana chawla who visited in 
and kalpana chawla was again the given the second opportunity to visit to the space in 2000 but unfortunately when she was 16 km 16 minutes away from the surface of earth while returning back her spacecraft was blasted and she was slapped forever and coming upon the third indian astronaut was the uh, william uh, william sex not william sex fair sunita williams sorry uh, so sunita williams was uh, was a third astronaut who spent the longest duration of time in the space which was about 195 days so guys these were the certain introduction missions of the isro and certain indian astronaut which visited to the space thank you